back to it really quick going back to you Me? so you gave yourself a rating of 10 mm -hmm. so do you consider yourself the most attractive girl at the table i mean i'm like myself everybody's beautiful in their own unique way you're the only girl who said you were a 10 so are you no, I mean, if but you gave yourself the highest rating at the table do you think you're the most beautiful girl at the table no i think they're all beautiful in different ways than me like i have black hair you got the beautiful red hair there's everybody just looks very different oh Everybody so just looks very they're, good. They're on your level, then. I think they're all... They're, I think they rated themselves very low compared to what they should be. None of them are more attractive than you, though. No, I think that they're more attractive in different ways. More attractive in different ways? Yeah, like like we got a blonde, we got... Like, <laughs> we got everybody different, you know? But being blonde in and of itself is typically not going to be sufficient... No, well, they, they all look good. It's just that we all are different people. And beauty is subjective. I get told I look ugly all the time, but I'm so used to it. I've been doing social media since I was 14. Okay. Like, I'm very used to it. And I understand. Wait, you get told you're ugly all the time? Yes. And I get called fat. I get called ugly. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not mad. I don't listen to it. Mm -hmm. I don't really care if people want to hate on but the way so I If you were to be rated by, say, a group of 1,000 men, what do you think the average rating would be for you? So I think that I have some features that are considered conventionally attractive and some features that are not. Like I'm more hourglass, but then obviously some men prefer like thinner women. Some men don't like, I have a big nose. I have mm -hmm. a very big Polish nose. Mm -hmm. And like some people don't like that. Like that's, a, that's something I get hated on a lot. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's all subjective. I think probably Is they it? would say yes. I, but I do feel like I get hit on a lot. I feel like I would get rated okay i think i'm more attractive than like an eight maybe okay so you think you're a 10 but yes the average of what a thousand men would rate you as an eight why do you think there's a difference there because not everybody likes the same thing right but this like, would be the average so in this cohort of a thousand men there could be some men that rate yeah. you a 10 and some people are like oh i only date blondes so you're a two like everybody likes different things does that really exist Yes. A guy who only dates blondes, mm -hmm. do you think he would prefer to date a woman who's facially beautiful but mm -hmm. is a brunette versus an ugly blonde woman? Which do you think he would rather choose or date? The attractive one, the bl brunette one. Mm -hmm. Based on this, it's clear to me that being blonde is not enough to shift the needle. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm saying, like, it's not real. Like, it's not like we're all ranked. Mm -hmm. There's no objective number that all of us are. It's all subjective. I like really ugly men. I love an ugly man with a big messed up nose. I love big yes, noses. Yes, a big messed up nose. And all my friends are like, ew, why are you doing that ugly man? I'm like, well, he's a 10 to me. There's no objective. Well, hold on. But you said he's ugly. Yes, but, so, but I like hmm. ugly men. How are you able to come to the determination he's ugly? Because people want to call him ugly. People like... Uh, all of the boys I've dated ever, people are like, oh, why would you date him? He but you get a lot it. of negative comments as well telling you you're ugly, so why aren't you ugly then? I'm ugly to some people. Mm. But I'm you call another man ugly because other people telling he's ugly. And you say, I mean, a listen, lot of people are calling me ugly, so why aren't you then like a five or a six instead of a ten? Why are women delusional? <laughs> what, yeah. what is attract? What what is it? Uh, what are, are ugly qualities to you as compared to attractive qualities? Like when you date an ugly man, what is ugly about him that's like undesirable? But you get over that. It's not undesirable. It's just that I when I think of the word ugly, I think of because it's all subjective. For example, I have a big hump nose. Some people don't like that, but I figure that makes a man a ten to me. I like a big nose, and so like it's all just like I'm not gonna lie. Beauty is subjective, and a lot of the ideas of where we get beauty like the ideas of beauty are like at least we're in america it's like american standards you know what i mean yeah like the blue eyes true. the blonde hair but the standards are I made don't think because a lot of I don't, mm -mm. standards are being made because a lot of people the find the holder. same person no, attractive that's not true, the same features right in di different country you're right yeah. in different country the di beauty standard can be so drastically mm -hmm. different you can rate someone a one and in china it would be a 10 seriously so yeah, right. no objection. Well, yeah, that I'm a European Africa, too. And like, and a, wait, yeah, hold on. Same. You're saying like yeah. a woman who's a ten in China is going to be a one in the U.S. I mean, that could happen. Yes. Even and though, wait, the hold on. Can ah, white men actually tend to assess Asian women as very attractive. Mm -hmm. They do. They well, that's vary. true. But what I'm saying is that there exist, like, the beauty standards are different. A lot of women are really popular here in America. You guys. 
treat as actresses in our country. When we were growing up, we we're like, what? We would never like even pick her out of the street. That's our perception. So when I come to US, I realize, oh my God, like the big ass is in. Like in China, if you're big ass, you get lipo. Like if you be <laughs> like a stick, the skinnier it's like this little, like chopsticks. So it's like so different, drastically different. And know? it changes by decades too. If you look at the portrait of the Ming Dynasty, like women are beautiful, like very curvy, and they have like no chin because it was like very <laughs> wealthy looking, you know, that's beauty and it's different. Because different they time. were natural back then, now we go to the plastic surgery and Because the secure. standards are different now, everything changes. Right? I All think right. it's kind of um, a little bit disrespectful to call me delusional because I'm addressing yeah, the fact that delusional. most men, not everybody thinks I'm a 10 because, listen, I think I'm a 10 and you asked me what I thought. You didn't ask me what everybody else thinks and so you're not going to change my opinion mm. of myself by being disrespectful to me. And well, I don't think it's disrespectful if you're you actually delusional. Yeah. You literally is a tend to a lot of Chinese men. Why? Because first of all, your nose is really tall. You know, oh, in no, China, yeah, no, people like would yeah. put so much stuff to make their nose tall. And the reason I realized that is when I was younger, I watched a TV show. This it's actress has the really tall <laughs> nose. And then like, you're a 10. And I think is you're not Is a 10 a person who has no room for improvement? No, I do have room for improvement, but regardless, I still love myself at all times. That's great. I yeah. think that's Wait, awesome. did you say you were going to be better looking in 10 years' time? Yeah, but I mean, I can still... 20 years' time? I mean... Or I forgot your answer just... I, you didn't have the 20 years. I mean, maybe... Probably I would look older, but like I think I'll probably look good for like an old... But so lady. will you be better looking... No, probably at, not. No. 20, will you 30. be better looking at 31 as compared to now at 21? Um, I think yes, because I pro I like for I'm starting my career out. I'm making more money. Mm -hmm. I'm able to get more cosmetic procedures in the next month. I get like my whole body done. So if you're going to be better looking in ten years time, how can you be po how can you possibly be a ten now? If you'll be better looking, because ten is the top you can go. You can't well, be, I mean, be better looking than a ten. I love myself right now, and I would be completely fine mm -hmm. like if I just stayed like this the rest of my life. I'm a very confident person. It's like I can still... I'm always... And also, society is always changing. So, like, for example, like, you look at the beauty trends of what women look like however many years ago, the little thin eyebrows, all that stuff. It's constantly changing. Like, mm -hmm. you might, like... Like, the clothing and all the... Everything changes. And in 10 years, it could be completely different. And I think I'll look good for that time. Well, I have another question, then. Uh, you said you're going to be getting, uh, how, uh, how many plastic surgery procedures are you getting? I'm getting lipo in my arms, and I'm getting 360 lipo, which is your waist. And I already have uh -huh. a very small waist. What? Why? Because I want to, I feel like, you know, like when you play video games and you have like the character and the skin, you save up, you get the skin, you like mm. upgrade. I'm like, oh, like this will be like, I don't know. And also you have to think I'd probably make more money. Like, I mean, okay. maybe not. So, so you're getting lipo? But I do. You're getting lipo in the arms, yes. lipo in the belly. And I'm getting a small implant put it's in. It's your then, business hold on. investment. Hold on. Kind of, yes. Mm. Hold on. No one said I needed them. It's just... Well, you're like getting I, them regardless. Well, I am in the adult industry, and mm -hmm. I probably would make more money if I was, like... A lot of... That's a, kind of a big thing. So, but these procedures are going to improve your looks? Yes. So then, what number will you be after the procedures? I will always consider myself a 10. I always, I do what I want with the way I but look. But how can, if it's increasing your physical attractiveness, Bro, you can all you down be... these specifics. You want me to say I'm a, like a not? I don't, I don't care I don't what care. you say. I really just... don't care what you think about how yeah. I look. That's fine. I think the question gonna... isn't I don't about your you self-perception. It's more about like the free market doesn't think you're a 10 is what he's saying. I think you're not delusional. <laughs> I think he's wrong because he's not thinking about other market. There's American market. There's Chinese she market. She lives there's in, all the kinds United, of... so live in the United he's States. So she's a public figure. Only fan is everywhere, right? You, you think, get traffic just to be clear, everywhere. You think she's a 10 in Korea? She can be a 10 I'm to some woman. Yes. I'm fat yes. in Korea. I'm fat in a lot of Asian Why are we just like debating her looks? Yeah. It's kind of like why like you really like you can like listen you can think I'm not a 10 I don't care listen I'm, I don't care and I really don't care what you think about but I think it's so crazy to get on a podcast and yeah. debate how a woman I, looks I don't well that, I'll tell you why it's important why? and let me also womp, just womp. Well, why don't. have we spent yeah. 20 minutes like 15 minutes yes. talking about no, no, so no, I, you, I, I think uh, oh last. girls I think you're feeling the wrong way <laughs> to be no 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 not the wrong way you're saying or her answer or anything don't like Come after me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you all right? Well, it's kind of like stressful. You're putting me on a podcast to debate how I look, and I've already said I no, don't no, no, care. No, 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 We talked about like Can you a just stop talking? And it's a little bit stressful. 
I'm Jesus good. Christ. But it's a little bit overwhelming having a full table of people. You do social media, and I do social media. I'm on live every day doing all my social media, but it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming, and you're kind of being a dickhead. <laughs> because what did I do? Well, I thought you didn't care. I mean, how? I don't care, but it's overwhelming. That's badgering. It's not badgering. And you just want to so keep talking about it over and over again for God knows how long. How much longer are you going to go on about it? I already said that I think I'm a 10, and this discussion is really pointless. Well, it does have a point, so. Uh, okay. What's well, I guess point? I'm ugly then. I, I think don't what care. he was trying to say Well, is, how about you let just, me make. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I've been, I'll interrupted. Let you speak for I've been interrupted like three times in a row. I'm trying to make my point, but go ahead. Go ahead. Make I'm your gonna, point. I'm going to let you speak no, go for ahead. yourself. Go let ahead. the man speak. I just think that he was trying to say, if you think you're a 10 now, that if you're getting work done, then isn't there room for improvement? He's not saying that you're yeah, not I, beautiful. Like, you are beautiful. No, yeah. I already, I, I get the, the point he's trying to make, so but it's like, I don't know, like Kylie Jenner, all these beautiful women, they even say they're a 10 and they can still go get stuff done. Kylie regrets it though. Yeah, that's I don't enough. think that's... they're beautiful. What, it's so subjective? Great. Can we yeah. let right. him make so, his point? Okay, so. You take issue with me using the word delusional, so let me just provide a definition. Characterized by or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary. So, or having false or unrealistic beliefs or opinions. So, I think the reality is there's a lot of women who come on the show. By the way, we ask this question I, every single I'm very show. very aware, and you always do this. No, don't always do it. I mean, if a girl gives herself a seven, or even if she gives herself a seven, but she's not a seven, I don't really push it. But to say you're a 10 is to say that you are on par with the most beautiful women in the world. And I'm not sure I'm prepared to, like, I'm sure, I'm not really sure I'm prepared to accept that. Some men will think she's more beautiful than the most beautiful what, person. Like I said, I, I like ugly men. men. I would. Yeah, I don't who's care some, what some men think. Who, who's some of the most attractive men you would ever see? I would turn them down immediately over like some like mid white boy. Like that's just how it is, and it's subjective. Well, it's not subjective like, because you've just made a cack characterization uh, categorization so you said there's beautiful men and there's mid men why are you able to make a an objective determination about someone's physical appearance but you can't do that to yourself um she didn't make an objective I said judgment I, it was subjective right was you think subjective. someone is no, ugly it's subjective she said there's beautiful men and there's mid men that's a categorization she's saying she likes to date those men yeah. who she's made a judgment and a yeah. determination on that they are less physically att attractive by some sort of objective conventional metric that's not conventionally attractive right you might be attracted to men but for other reasons like maybe he's I got a good I personality did these broke men. I'm not in it for like like literally like I'm so not it's just it is bad at the personality. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't care. Like just cause I say they're ugly doesn't like maybe conventionally speaking, they're they're considered yeah. ugly, but not to me. Okay, so you're literally on a podcast debating a twenty one how old are you, twenty one? I'm twenty one. You're debating debating what, a twenty one. How is that relevant? Because it's your grown ass man. What, and you asked to and be on the show. Me. Yeah, the, this is a show what? about dating relationships and how and, women and men perceive each other and yes, themselves. But how long have we been talking about this? A very long time. But the and podcast really is six day. hours or whatever. We're just filling time yeah. here, having yeah. a discussion. Okay, well, I'm over it. I'm done. I think it's just a matter of opinion. It is yeah, a matter of opinion. That's what I've said the whole time. And you're going to say and I'm I don't delusional. think you should let it get to really, yeah, don't I don't let it get you. Are you yeah, doing great? No, 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 no. Yeah. Hold you're on. literally pretty for a living. Yes. No, right? <laughs> That's the good point. Well, yeah, but, that, but you, you might not be girl. a 10 for a living, but you're doing great. You shouldn't be emotional. You're doing all right. Sorry, no, yeah. I'm not. Ups it's, I'm upset because, I I, listen, I'm an emotional person, and it's just a little bit overwhelming. I think beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, obviously. I've got But I think if you are making categories about men, what you are are saying you are right you have to be honest to yourself like, as a woman yeah. bro it's crazy to me because like women are super picky and you guys literally have laundry lists of like what a guy has to meet physically personality wise you you guys have lists of yeah. what a guy has to bring to the table yeah. but when guys start talking about like okay here's what we want and whenever it gets into the realm of physical appearance which by the way women care way fucking more than men about this shit i guarantee you you go on a fucking dating app Y'all are swiping no on 90% of the dudes without reading their fucking profile. Mm -hmm. Instantly, you look at the first photo, mid, mid, don't That's like true. it. Way fucking no, more about yeah, this I shit. I definitely agree with that. 
And so I'll tell you exactly why it matters yeah. and why I push back on what I view as women having an overinflated sense of their own physical attractiveness. So let me start by asking a question. Do you think that there are men out there who think that they're more attractive than they actually are? Yes. Do you think there are men who think they're hot shit, yes. but they're not? Yes. 90%. <laughs> so yeah. that's, you. Ob I'm sure really you care. object to men who think they're who's super fucking cocky mm -hmm. and who think they're hot shit and think they can, you know, get all these girls, but they don't. You, right? Yeah. But who somebody cares? thinks you're that much and more. So Yes, exactly. It's you know who they are. I'm Adams? not saying, they're, look, there's going to be guys that are attracted to you. That's yeah, not what yeah. I'm trying to argue here. But like... If you can say that there are men out there who think that they're hot shit, but they ain't nothing. But guess what? I'm not mad about them saying that. You, like, you, but like you might say they're delusional. I mean, maybe, but I mean, I don't know. If they, it depends. Because a, the, a lot of them, like, maybe I don't like them, but like, there are other women that do. There's a reason they're like that. Mm, so... Like, Most... listen, I'm in college. Do you know how many boys that I, like, I have to deal with? Uh, actually, i got to push back on this specific thing, too. So I would actually argue that in terms of what men will find attractive, men have, in terms of what they deem physically attractive, men have a much wider margin mm -hmm. of, like, women they'll find attractive. Like, I would say most men find most women attractive. Mm -hmm. Most women definitely don't find That's most true. men attractive. That's true. And this is why you have average women who think they deserve the fucking world. They're mid-chicks who deserve, like, a top-tier dude. Mm -hmm. You don't. And what's Average women deserve average men. Average men deserve average women. Guess what? And what's going on in the dating marketplace, especially on dating apps, you got average women who can get sexual access mm -hmm. to really attractive men. They'll never get commitment, but they'll spend their 20s fucking the attractive dudes, never getting commitment, getting passed around by fuckboys. And then when it's time to settle, when they're in their late 20s or 30s, they're going to feel entitled to a certain caliber of guy that'll never give them commitment. They're going to settle for a guy who's actually in their league. That guy's not going to get good treatment. It's going to be terrible for the relationship. But a lot of women, because it's a global sexual marketplace, you can hop on Instagram, you can hop on a dating app and get pff, average chicks can get dicked down like three times a day if they want to. Yeah, they That's can. their issue. That's not you, like men are just more issue. sexual. But here's the thing. So for a guy, our league, our league is the women that we can sleep with. Mm -hmm. Y'all league is the men you can get commitment and marriage from. Mm -hmm. Because as a girl, you can sleep with a guy. It's not immediately clear. If if you can sleep with a guy, you can always get him in, or with near certainty, get him into a relationship. Mm -hmm. But as a guy, if I can sleep with a girl, there's a very strong chance I can get her into a relationship. That's so yeah. false. What is the... That's, that's so false. false. What's the Basically, saying? the 80, 90 percent of the per men I date, I don't want a relationship with them. Well, hold on. There's strumpets. Harder. There's obviously strumpets that are fine engaging in casual sex. Yeah, no, because say. they're really losers. They so are you the fuck L. losers? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I fucked losers. That's an L. That's broke. Yeah. That's an L. Bro. Because I need to get off, man. Sometimes you I said need you a don't man. even get off. What? You said you don't. I, you, you said have your you vibrator. I always bring my tiny vibrator with me. It's like this big, okay? If he can get me off, I have my ways. Sometimes you need a warm body. You need a good cuddle. What's wrong with that? Cuddle? You get STDs from cuddle? Oh, well, Do you know cuddling. how many guys that are my cuddle buddies? But it's not because sex. They want then my... you're not having sex with them. And you don't. Have, you don't want condoms. But what is your what? You ideal man? You condoms where you have sex? Like, what? Condoms. Then you think that stops an STD? Oh, so you're saying I shouldn't have sex? when I want to have sex with someone because I want to scratch an itch. Like, oh, that's so, like, well, you, Yeah, it's called sexual discipline. Jeez. What do you have sexual discipline? You've never ever had sex with a girl without a condom or, like, you're just, Wait, like, okay, we're talking about two totally different okay. things here. Okay, so... I just don't know, understand why you're, like, thinking what I did that is unreasonable. Adult, Parents, you can me. do what you want. Yeah, exactly. I'm against fuck up culture. I'm, I'm not promiscuous. I just want to cuddle Bruh. someone. Sometimes I want to fuck someone. Yeah, it's, like, you're different. promiscuous. No, you're you are promiscuous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But how okay. is your ideal man... What does he look like?
like, or is it just your ideal man like a sex doll or something? Because I no, don't understand. No, it's like at different stage of my life, I have different ideal. For example, with my five-year relationship, I was with like, the same guy for five right. years. So if you that are goes married, through a slut phase where that's when I actually did one night stand and I regretted it. And then there are times where I'm like seriously so want to date someone. It's like people change throughout their years and, and they want to. Different- thousand women on the show. It's not all women, but uh, I don't know if it's a majority or uh, who knows the exact number. But there's enough women who are totally average, totally average. They don't want to date average men. That's a problem. For average it's men, a, not for them. No, well, it's also a problem for the women because then they end up getting into relationships with men who will never commit to them. Dating apps are proof enough. So Where's if you have, there? hold what on. What dating app? Listen, I'm Tinder, all Tinder all these, all, all these dating uh-huh. apps re- have released, not all of the dating apps, but they've released data on this. Uh-huh. Women swipe no on 90% yeah, that's of men. True. Yeah, I mean, this is a thing. But why do you think women... It's not 90, it's 90. I think uh, what he's meaning. Oh, okay. But why do you think women so, are unhappy? Hold on. Maybe women are let me, happier let me than this. Because of their choices. They have, a different, they have a different view. The experiences of men and women on Tinder. Women match with 36% of those they like, while men match with less than 2%. So women are super yeah. picky mm-hmm. when it comes to looks. Mm-hmm. And, su- and just in general, they're super picky. Mm-hmm. If women are overlooking men mm-hmm. that are actually in their league, mm-hmm. because they think, for example... If you think that you're a 10 mm-hmm. and you genuinely believe it, certainly you must be deserving of a man who's a 10. And so what is that going to look a like? A man well, who she thinks is a 10. That's important to add. Sure. She thinks is a 10. Not in the world you most people think You these women, they want to date men are more attractive than yeah. I already said. I like the men that are not considered attractive. I like the little shorties. Yeah. That I what she thinks is a 10. Maybe she likes broke guys. Maybe that's a no, 10. No, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't really care. I don't really care. Just not throws you, I mean, you under the bus like, immediately. Like, like, I'm not saying you. That so it's like in me. her eyes. So yeah, if she thinks a 10, she will find someone who she thinks is a 10. That doesn't mean you will yes. think he's a 10. Well, I think, look, again, the big issue here is that I see... Go-